Welcome to Velocity City, where you get to know about all the exciting news and updates about our beloved sport, Formula One. Today, we will discuss the future of Sergio Perez in Red Bull. Who is the most likely replacement? Will it be Charles or Lando? We will discuss in detail about everything, but before we get started, be sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get regular updates from Velocity City. Let's get started. During an investor's call in April, Liberty Media CEO Greg Maffey said that the company wants to emulate the NFL's tagline with Formula One. Maffey said Liberty Media wants to build a long-term healthy ecosystem for F1 and create a sport where anyone can win on any given Sunday. The NFL's any given Sunday mantra is a core element of its appeal. In contrast, Formula One is not a parity-driven league, with the same teams tending to win most of the time. Liberty Media wants to change this by introducing changes that will make it easier for smaller teams to compete. It remains to be seen whether Liberty Media's plan will be successful. Formula One is not a parity-driven league. The same teams tend to win most of the time, with Mercedes winning eight drivers' championships and Red Bull winning the last four constructors' championships. This lack of parity has made some fans complain that Formula One is predictable and boring. Red Bull is uniquely positioned to reintroduce competition to Formula One. In 2016, Mercedes dominated the season, but their drivers, Lewis Hamilton and Nico Rosberg, battled each other hard all season long. The spectacle was unbelievable, which is what Red Bull wants to recreate. The Formula One season has kicked off early, with Daniel Ricciardo replacing Nick de Vries at Alfa Tauri for the remainder of the season. There is speculation that if Ricciardo performs well, he could replace Sergio Perez at Red Bull next year. Marco Helmut said, After Silverstone, we will have Ricardo in the car for three days at a Pirelli tyre test. And there we can evaluate where really in terms of pace is Ricardo. Speaking about the Sergio Perez replacement, Marco said, His initial goal was two or three years. That would be more than he planned anyway. You just have to keep the options open for the successor. Speaking about Daniel, he is quite happy to be back at Formula One. He posts a picture of himself in front of Alpha Tauri building, captioning, Full circle, with Lando Norris commenting, Ricky Bobby is back. Red Bull wants to create a dream team with the best drivers in Formula One. This is in line with Liberty Media's desire to increase the spectacle of the sport. Lando Norris and Charles Leclerc are two drivers linked with Red Bull, as they are both young, talented and competitive. Checo's performances this season have been a mixed bag. He started the season strongly with a podium finish in Bahrain and a win in Saudi Arabia. However, his performance has declined as the season has progressed. He has only finished on the podium once since the summer break, and his teammate, Max Verstappen, has consistently outscored him. Former British racer and Sky Sports announcer Johnny Herbert said, As much as Sergio showed in the early part of the season that he was more than capable of mixing it with Max, there was then a point that he wasn't. Like Schumacher, Senna, Mansell, Hakkinen, they are always able to get the best out of their equipment every weekend. In real terms, I would say he's under threat, but he is a very good number two. Some have attributed Checo's declining performances to the fact that he's struggling to adapt to the new regulations. The 2022 Formula One season has seen several changes to the regulations, including the introduction of a new aero package and a simplified front wing. These changes have made it more difficult for drivers to follow each other closely, making it harder for Checo to get past his opponents. You might think that Red Bull would never do anything to upset Max Verstappen or that no driver would want to drive alongside him, knowing that Red Bull might not favour them. However, there are several reasons why Red Bull might consider signing a driver like Lando Norris or Charles Leclerc. Red Bull is always looking to improve their team. Verstappen is a great driver, but he's not the only great driver on the grid. Red Bull could add another world-class talent to their lineup by signing a driver like Norris or Leclerc. Red Bull knows that Verstappen will not be on the team forever. He's only 24 years old, but he's already won the Drivers' Championship twice. It's only a matter of time before he moves on to a new challenge. By signing a driver like Norris or Leclerc, Red Bull could ensure they have a strong replacement for Verstappen when he leaves. Of course, there are also risks involved in signing a driver who could challenge Verstappen. If the two drivers cannot work together, it could create tension within the team. However, Red Bull is confident that it can manage the risk. They have a history of managing successful driver lineups and believe they can do it again with Verstappen and a new driver. 
In the case of Lando Norris, there was a meeting between his manager, Mark Berryman, and Red Bull's motorsport advisor, Helmut Marko, at the Red Bull motorhome before the British Grand Prix. Marco confirmed that there have been intensive discussions between the two parties and that they remain in contact. He has a contract with McLaren until 2025, but among the young drivers he is by far the strongest. His youthful nature would also suit Red Bull the best, Marco said. On the other hand, Leclerc is currently under a contract with Ferrari, but his contract expires at the end of 2024. If Leclerc does not renew his contract with Ferrari, he would be a free agent in 2025. Red Bull could be interested in signing him as a replacement for Verstappen, who is also under contract until the end of 2024. Red Bull held talks with Charles Leclerc in the end of May to find any possibility of him separating with Ferrari. Leclerc may be unhappy at Ferrari because the team has not met his expectations. Ferrari had the fastest car on the grid at the start of 2022, but they have made too many unable to match Red Bull's development. Red Bull could be a more reliable team for Leclerc, giving him a better chance of winning championships. Leclerc's frustration with Ferrari was evident at the British Grand Prix when he was leading the race, but he was called into the pits for a strategy that did not work. He then lost his lead to Verstappen and finished second. After the race, Leclerc said he was disappointed with the team's strategy. Ferrari's been unable to improve their car from race to race, and they've been passed by Red Bull, Mercedes, Aston Martin and now McLaren in terms of car performance. This is shockingly bad, considering that Ferrari has not won a championship since 2008, while Red Bull has had two eras of success. Leclerc has been very vocal about his frustration with Ferrari's poor performance. He says that he is tired of being disappointed and not happy with the team. He would be completely right to be looking for a move elsewhere, as he's a world-class driver who deserved to be in a team capable of winning championships. Ferrari's former driver, Gerhard Berger, even accused the top bosses of this downfall. Berger said they lost their nerve and knocked out the wrong people. The prospect of Lando Norris or Charles Leclerc joining Red Bull is exciting. It would create a dream team that could challenge for championships for years to come. However, if this happens, there will be some losers. Sergio Perez is obvious, as his days at Red Bull are numbered. But what about Daniel Ricciardo? Daniel Ricciardo said in an interview that he would only rejoin Alpha Tauri if it created a pathway to Red Bull. This suggests that Red Bull has assured him that he could be in line for a seat alongside Max Verstappen in the near future if he performs well for the rest of the season. Some have seen Ricciardo's move to Alpha Tauri as a demotion, but it could also be seen as a strategic move by Red Bull. They want Ricciardo to replace Sergio Perez in the future, or they could use him to help develop the young drivers at Alpha Tauri. Sergio Perez and Charles Leclerc are contracted to their respective teams until the end of 2024, while Lando Norris's contract expires after the 2025 season. Contracts can be broken, but it is expensive to do so. Red Bull might be willing to let Perez go at the end of this season, but breaking Leclerc on Norris's contract would be more expensive. If Red Bull were to break compensation, this would be a risky move, as it would be expensive, and there is no guarantee that either driver will be successful at Red Bull. Another possibility is that Daniel Ricciardo could be promoted to Red Bull next season. He is currently at Alfa Tauri, but has a contract with Red Bull until the end of 2023. If Ricciardo were to be promoted, he would likely replace Perez. Ultimately, the decision of who will drive for Red Bull next season is up to the team. There are a lot of factors to consider, including the cost of breaking contracts, the driver's performance, and the team's long-term plans. That's it. So, who do you think Max's next partner will be? Will it be Leclerc or Norris? Or will it be Daniel? Or could Red Bull do the unthinkable and sign Lewis Hamilton to recreate Mercedes' 2016 season? What are your thoughts? Tell us in the comment section below.